Now, the reason why I'm saying this episode is very educational is because of now, we see Mandisa who used to help people. Now she is desperate. She lost her husband. She also, you know, lost her son because the Zulu brothers took the son away from her. She is in a serious financial problems. And she is calling people who used to come and drink alcohol with credit so that they can pay her. They don't want to pay her. She is calling her uncle who was negotiating for her lobola, asking if the 80,000 that the Zulu brothers paid on her behalf is still there. The uncle said, I chowed everything. There is nothing left. Nothing. Now, she decided to call the other uncle who was there during the Lovala negotiation. She wanted to borrow 1,000 rent, if not 10. The uncle said, it's a bad month. I don't have money. She said, can you at least borrow me 500 rent? The uncle said, I have nothing. And she also said, can you please borrow me, even if it's 250 rent, whatever you have. The uncle said, it's a tough month. He doesn't have any money. He doesn't have anything. And that was painful because she tried everyone that she know. No one wants to borrow her money. No one wants to pay her her money. And she was only left with the last option, Billy the billionaire. Remember, she was a lady of the night. Remember, she was selling meat before. She was on the street. Now, when, when everything fails, she had to roll the dice and see if maybe she can get lucky. You know, she tried Detective Baloi. Detective Baloi refused to pay her. Now she has this three years information and no one is willing to buy that information. Now she has to go and sell meat. She called Billy the billionaire. And while Billy was on his way, she decided to put different type of, you know, hairdress on her bed trying to feed them. You can see her weaves there, her wigs there. You know, she want to look sexy for Billy. You know, Billy knows her as seven colors. Remember on the previous episode, she didn't want to be with Billy anymore. And we didn't know why she doesn't want to date Billy anymore. Now, when Billy arrived, Billy took Viagra while he was still at her door. And he was already making the movement that he is ready to dance. And he kept on saying, open the door, open the door. I am ready. I am ready. She opened the door, Billy, the, you know, the billionaire was in there. She said, let's sit down and talk. Billy didn't want to talk. She said, talk for what? I'm not here to talk. She wanted to have a little bit of alcohol. Billy didn't want alcohol. Billy told her to go to the door and start dancing for him. You know, she didn't want to do that. Billy became very aggressive. Billy said, I'll pay you and I want you to dance for me. Now, he wanted her to remove that bum shot and start dancing for him. She did. That was painful. I am saying this because I want to say something which is very much important. She was selling me before. She was a prostitute before. She was doing that kind of a job before. She met the guy who loves her, who respected her, and who married her, and who gave her a home, and she started a business where she can sell alcohol. She is respected. She is no longer doing what she used to do. Now, this, this guy who made her who she is right now, to be the lady who is respected, this guy died. And when this guy passed away, she do everything that she knows and at the end of the day she's going back to where she was back to square one back to zero where she has to sell her body again so that she can eat because of people who pretended to be her friends they are gone now no one is supporting it now she find herself dancing for another man for money when she's done dancing, this guy was so rough in a way that when the camera is focusing on her, you just feel sorry for him. When he's done, 
She said, Billy, give me my money. Billy gave her only 100 bucks. Only 100 grand loans. And she asked, like, Billy, why 100 bucks? You can't pay me 100 bucks. After what you made me do, after what you did to me, Billy said, I'm doing you a favor. You are an old... I cannot say that word. I'm just doing you a favor. By giving you 100 bucks. You know, she got angry. She took out the knife and she stabbed him until he died. Now she panicked. She took her clothes, opened the door, and we don't know what's going to happen on her on the next episode, episode 12. Because I'm just watching one episode at a time so I can review it without pressure. Now, after she killed Billy the Billionaire, it's going to be tough. Because Billy looks like the guy who is running the street. Billy looks like the guy who is very, very powerful on the street. And even the way Billy dominated Mandisa, I've never seen Mandisa that way. She was so afraid of Billy when he started telling her to do things that he wanted her to do, when he was demanding those kind of savings, when he wanted her to strip for him, it was just horrible. And at the end, she found a way to kill him. Of course, anger, now the fact that she's fighting with the Zulu brothers and also she lost in Nova, and she understands that now that the man who protected me is gone, you feel like you can do this to me, you know. And join me when I review episode 12 of The Wife, you know, and Mandisha, Mandisha, she's something else, man. Like I said on the previous episode, she is bringing that top, top, you know, acting on that level that I really know that she's capable of doing. And I appreciate you guys showing me love and support. Thank you.